RGB, or red, green, blue, is likely the color mode that you will use most often. This mode was developed specifically for television and monitors. Let's jump right in and take a look. The RGB color mode is the default color mode in Photoshop. It was actually invented for old televisions and CRT monitors. RGB is an additive color model, which means that light in these three colors is projected and at where the light overlaps, different colors are created. All three overlapping in the same intensity uh, at maximum intensity creates white and the absence of all three will create black. Every other color in the spectrum is created by some combination of red, green, and blue. As I said a minute ago, RGB was created for old school televisions and monitors. We don't necessarily see this image today anymore because we have LCD monitors, but if you were to zoom into uh, an old giant CRT monitor or a really old television, you might see these tiny lights represented on your television. And what these do is these actually project the light in red, green, and blue toward us and as the light overlaps, our eyes perceive different colors. So this is how it was created in the beginning. Most everything you're ever going to work on is going to be in this color space. Almost the sole exception is when you're working on something that's to be printed, and that's because printers use a different process in order to achieve the colors that they print out. We'll talk about that next in the CMYK color space. But before I go, I just want to show you this here. This is one of the first RGB images ever made, and you can see over here to the right-hand side, each one of these represents red, green, or blue. If you replace the gray in this image with red, that would be representative of all the red in this image, and then the green and the blue. The way that they compose the image on the left is that they shot a black and white photo with a red filter over the lens, and they got this top image. Then they put a green filter over the lens, got the second image, and then finally a blue filter and got the third image. When they went to print out this image, they used a similar process of filtration to give them three separate negatives, and then they overlaid them on top of one another to get the image that you see on the left. Thank goodness we still don't have to do it that way. Anyway, that's all for the RGB color space. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below, and send any questions that you might have to request at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.